Hey, buddy, can you hear me? We go to Albert? Uh, yes. Cool. Awesome. And you'll be talking to Chris. Hello. Hi, this is Chris. Hi, Chris, can you hear us? I can hear you. So, Chris, could you just uh, take us through the clinical scenario in this case? This is a model of a middle-aged female who initially presented to our gynecologic oncology colleagues. So as you can see here, uh, this mass is the left ovary uh, tumor complex. This tubular structure here is actually the gonadal vein, which is quite distended with tumor, uh, going up into the left renal that you can see here. It was recognized that the tumor was then involved in the cava uh, and it was going to require a little bit more extensive of an operation. Therefore, uh, Ian was consulted to weigh in on an opinion. Could you pause there for one second, Chris? Yep, go ahead. Where are we going to put the lower cava clamp on? There's a pointer there, isn't there? There's a pair of four steps. Uh, look to your left. There you go. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> there you go. So, shows the bottom cava. So, we clamp the lower cava. Shows the top cava. So, we're going to clamp really high. We've got vascular control. How do we deal with the liver now? All right. Once you have vascular control, you need access to the retrohepatic cava. I think many times we would approach the retrohepatic cava through a 6-7 cut to come down on the cava, but in her we were a little concerned with that just because her liver was congested from her blood Chiari. And so basically we came through the liver starting at the gallbladder fossa, going back on the right side of the middle vein, all the way up to here, that way our specimen was essentially going to be the right lobe of the liver, uh, purely because this was a, a, a shorter cut coming from here to here as opposed to all the way through here in a 6-7 cut. Charlotte, we'll move to our case. Uh, yeah, so fairly deep-seated kind of posterior lesion. Yeah. It's in four, a little bit into eight. So what kind of resection, where would you cut the liver and what are you going to lose, do you think? So was this patient jaundiced or was there any evidence of bile duct involvement? No. Okay. Um, so I think our options are you could either do a, a mesohepatectomy, but it's getting pretty deep and looks like it may be down, you know, close to the caudate there, uh, which I guess you could still take. Or you could do an extended left hepatectomy and preserve your 6, 7 and right vein. Awesome. We could go on, but Chris, I know you've got to get to the OR, so uh, from everyone in Dublin, thanks a million for your help. Thank you guys. This was truly a pleasure. Okay. Not too bad. That actually worked. Okay, so the technology works. That's great. The question is, how often do we do this? Do it. Oh, how often do you want to do it? Just do it once a month. Why not? Monthly tumor boards? Yeah, why not? Mm -hmm.